Abdik. And I said, this village must come back to labor. The extension down there is we put it down here. We did that extension to widen the village, gave out the lands around here. It's labor. We did it. That cricket field down there, we did it. And we want to tell you, you have a representative for all the years that they have been in. What have they done to New Winchos? What have they done to New We can go around the country and stand firmly. New Winchops, we're not mad with you. You saw it your way in 2004. But right now in 2012, the only way you can see it is to vote the Antigua Labour Party and Dean Jonas. Dean has been a man that he comes around and, he and he's been with you, visit you, talk with you. It's time you make the switch with Dean Jonas as the Labour representative. We, you look down there and you see the housing going down that area, the new houses, Labour Party. What can this constituency brag about that you have had since you got a UPP representative? You know what you can brag about? Hey man, 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 man. The only thing you can brag about, brag about in this area is that you have a big boss. Oh, Jackie. Oh, Jackie. You can name boss. <laughs> and boss, dear, but boss can't take you to work. Where are you working? Where are boss taking you? Anyway, comrades, the Antigua Labour Party has been a party that always believed in low taxation, high employment. We believe that you, the people of Antigua and Barbuda, to raise yourselves up from the working class, you can only do that by keeping your money and spending it the way you want to spend it. We believe in the Labour Party. As a government, it is our job to go out and find businesses Bring in employment so that our youths, our youths like this young lady in front of me, you can find jobs. Too many of you, too many young people around now that cannot find jobs since you have left secondary schools, since you have left state college, you have nothing to do. It's mommy and daddy send you to school and mommy and daddy you can call have you on the welfare still some of you are real feeling badly that you have to still begging mommy and daddy for food for clothes for everything and you have a country you have a government what has the government done for our youths what has they done for our youths they haven't done nothing for you. Nothing! Where you can go to bed tonight and wake up in the morning, brush your teeth and run out and say, what time is it? Am I late or early for work? You cannot do that. And that must be a heart rendering issue for every youth, mother and father. It's real sad that there's nothing go to the villages every day and you see our young people shine now by working people sitting at the side of the road some of them have one pot the boys join together on the side of the road and they cook one pot every day that everybody throws up that they can have something to eat isn't this is this the country that you want is this the country that Labour left? When Labour Party left office, 
every man, woman, and child had dollars in their hand, had dollars in their pocket. They were able to go and buy. They were able to go and build. Look at the nice houses down there. Look at all what happened. It was labor. And I'm begging the people of New Winthrop's tonight, think carefully. Think carefully. Because it is not getting better. It is getting worse with this UPP government that we have. To add insult to injury, come on there, comrade. I want you to follow this carefully with me tonight. I saw Comrade Joseph and Comrade Hoss with the generator plant there tonight. Comrade Joseph and Comrade Hoss, do you know, man in Germany are prepared to come and look at the plants that they are not clear in their minds that they were built by any man factory. They have written, the people have written to the government three weeks ago and asked for permission for man engineer to fly from Germany to come to Antigua to look at the plants once and for all to tell you if it's new, if it's not new, if it's old, and if you're junkyard. And they, can you imagine, your government, our government, refuse man engineers. Not nobody that used to work for man. Not nobody that no man. The actual man engineer, the name of the company is man. The man engineer is prepared to fly out here and to visit that plant. And three weeks, three weeks, a request has been put into the government. No answer. But you know, you need time maybe to shuffle around, to grind off, to paint up, and to put it up. But here it is. It's all of us going to have to pay for it. And to set the score, no permission. No permission. Do you all realize we're heading down? Young people, I'm begging you all, never let a dictator raise a head in this country. Antigua is heading for dictatorship. Antigua is heading down the road for dictatorship. And I want you young people to wake up and to think about your country tonight because if we don't put a stop to it, we will never have the opportunity. We will be told where to go, where not to go. Sit down and stand up. We don't want that here. Let us keep democracy going. Well, you know, my dear comrades, the UPP believe that they can fool everybody all the time. And when they chat, you will believe them because baby, the name is St. Peter. I am saying to you tonight, you listened to your radio this morning. You heard our ambassador, David Shaul, on the radio. And you heard him said, I want you to listen carefully you now. You heard him said that some Chinese people from the government of China coming here on the 16th. They're going to sign two agreements. One agreement for the building of a school. Follow me carefully. One agreement for the building of a school in five islands. All well and good. We welcome that. Education for our youths. We prize that. Nothing wrong with that. 30 million yuan. When you convert 30 million yuan to US dollars, it comes to 4.7 million US. When you convert that into our dollars EC, it comes to 12.8 million EC. Now, that's for a school to hold over a thousand students with all kind of laboratory, good, lunch room, better, 
sporting facilities. That's great. No problem with that. But let me ask you the question now. Well, let me ask the question. You see the building, guy, you all come to the same bus station like us, East Bus Station from here. You see the building that AP we have there now? That they fixed up the block traffic every other day? Right by High Street there? They bought that for 13 million EC dollars. They wrote off over 3.5 million that they had owed for electricity, telephone, and water. So that carried the building up to 16 million. They borrowed, and you look and see what they're doing here with a conservative estimate. They must have spent 10 million on materials, everything here. So we're up to 26 million. We don't know about cost overruns, etc. They borrowed that money. If that money is borrowed even at 8%, when they finish paying back that, it will be over 60 million dollars. But let me go back. 12.8 million EC for a school. When you compare a school to house over a thousand people, 1,500 students, with all the classrooms, with the laboratory, playing facilities, everything, a modern school, you can compare a modern school with a building that was purchased straight off of 16 million dollars. And you see something wrong? You don't see something wrong? Now let me move on now and look at the other end of it. The other 30 million. Hear this. They are going to get the Chinese to sign a loan for another 30 million yuan. Which is 4.7 million US, 12.8 EC. When our great ambassador was asked, what is that for? He don't know it's for a project that the government, or it's for projects or for things the government will decide. Now I want to say tonight, any bank, and you go to borrow money, you have to tell them where borrow any money for. Any government that is lending Antigua money, they must know what are the projects if it's in the interest of the people, if it's not a commercial loan, etc., etc. But we want to know tonight from the UPP how you can get money without a project document, without approval from Parliament, without me knowing what that money is going to be spent upon when you, the people of Antigua and Barbuda, have to pay back. And I want to send a warning out to our friends, that the Chinese are our friends. Is that petty cash money for the government to use as they choose fit for political purposes? If that is so, that they're lending money without we know the project, it simply means that the Chinese are interfering in the local politics of this country. And they must stop it. They must stop it. And we the people must stand up and let them know any project that they are giving to the people of Antigua and Barbuda alone, it must be attached to a budget and it must have parliamentary approval so it can be discussed in the parliament so you the people who own the country, who own the government, who are the bosses in the country will know what you've been called upon to pay for. And I'm warning them, I'm warning them, I'm warning the government do not take Antigua people for granted. We are a quiet people, but when we can't take no more, when we can't take any more, you will really hear from us. You will hear from us and then you're going to come and tell us we're unpatriotic. 
We are saying when you are doing things that are not patriotic, that the people don't know anything about, that you want us to pay back for and just spend as you feel, when you feel, how you feel, who is unpatriotic. It's not them. It's not them. I'm warning the Chinese tonight. Do not let the UPP government bring them into issues that are political by putting that money as a loan and no project attached to it so they can spend it willy nilly. I'm warning them. It's getting into our local politics and they have no right to get involved in it. No right at all. This is a democratic country. It has two sides. And the people will hear us put our cases forward. And then they will vote where they want to vote. The Chinese are our friends. We cherish the friendship. But joke is joke. Too much joke is damn joke. So my dear friends, I want to tell you, I heard Michael Lee talking about Housing, and he has problem in his area with housing, Comrade Marvin Joseph, my good colleague. And I want, I want all of you, when you pass and you go down to Fort James, and the road going down to Fort James, you see the last road that leads out from Villa. Keep on driving, going towards Fort, but from that road. Count one, two, three. The third road on your right, turn in there. I won't describe the houses. I won't say nothing at all about it. But I'm inviting all of you to drive in there and see if Antigua warned them kind of something. That if, t if all of us were here tonight and I'll stand up by one of the houses and we blow too hard, they're overturn. <laughs> That is what happened. You people of Antigua and Barbuda, you people in New Winthrop's, you can't tell me that you're not disappointed with this UPP administration for what they have done for you. Remember, they promise you, you know something? I want to tell you people tonight, in my constituency, some young people had voted against me in 2004 I, and I call them come, let me talk, come, come I ain't had the boss up there, see? This is your way to sit up She's very easy up there So, I want to tell you I call them why because what you people said they were going to turn Antigua into a honey field and we believed it we believed it and we felt that Labour had the country this high and the country could not go any lower. So if we took a chance with them, things would have remained the same. And you know what? In 2009, that's why you saw when they called Willie Gates box, it was Robin, Robin, more Robin, yet Robin, good Robin, forever Robin to it. I want to tell you, our young people, do not be misled. The Antigua Labour Party, we have been out of power. Yes, the one the election in 2004, but we all know happened in 2009. Believe that. We are going to court with them, hopefully, in the next two, three weeks. About the same ABEC. We are going, we have already filed papers yesterday. Samantha is there. She filed the papers. And we are going to court with that because we say your finger must not go into ink unless the election is going to be free and fair for all of us. And we know if it's free and fair, Labour will win, 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 win. One thing with Antigua people, we are accustomed. Do you 
think it is easy when you the people of New Winthrop have your children and you go in that house and you see them four the guys looking at you. Mommy, daddy, I'm hungry. Mommy and daddy, I need tea. And you can't give them tea. How you feel your own flesh and blood? That's what you people put you in. That you can't even give your children what God said they're entitled to. What I say to my people, labor is dead. We are prepared to let the good time roll. We have not been sitting idly. We have a plan. We told them, this is the last thing I tell you before, Western command. We have a plan and we told them, and you know what they said to us, I told them in Parliament, look, you want the 2004 election. You're going to employ your people. All right? No problem. In 2005, those who didn't employ in 2004, any one of them that dropped to the crevice, you employ them in 2005. Therefore, when you do that, you use that as the budget and stop wasting the people money to tax them. Can you imagine? Our budget gone over one billion heading towards the two billion area. Our taxes that they want is over a billion dollars. And when I heard and my people taking this just for easy talk, hear what they say. Government must pull the money out of your pocket, your pocket, my pocket to meet government expenditure. Have you seen government reduce any expenditure yet? You see the new cars? You see the new cars up and down the road? You see all the extra people that have to work with a minister, five, six people? You see all of this going on? It's you, you have to pay for that. We are saying government must live within its means. Government must not bring the middle class down to the working class and put the working class into the poverty class. That is why it's happening. Businessmen and women in Antigua are planning. They right now want to sell out their businesses, but who go by? Nobody. No business people that have stood up to help build the country. They have no opportunity. That is no work our people have. So this country is just going at a fast pace. We want to assure you, labor will redeem this country for and on behalf of you, its people. When that time comes, vote labor. Let us bind together. Tell your neighbor and your friend, we are all in the same boat, but we are going to get them out before the boat sink with us. Let us be the party to revive the economy of Antigua, to make us better off, to give us better services. Good night until I come again. God bless you.